Hello again, my wine friends. Uh, continuing on here with our little reviews of um, all this loverly equipment we've got here. I thought today <clears throat> we would lo look at the uh, sulfur dioxide machine from Hannah, the uh, AGI-84100 sulfur dioxide machine. I got to use this yesterday <clears throat> because it was time to, um, to add some sulfur to my wines. I found the machine quite easy to use. I'll give you a quick demo. Uh, basically, it has a, a tritrator that uh, that you use right here. Um, there's a, a reagent right here. There's a stabilizer in this little package that you see here. Um, and you use all this in conjunction with the wine. So doing your test is quite easy. I already have a wine sample here. So we take our little beaker here. And we are going to fill it to the 50 millimeter mark. Let me... Now remember, I'm holding a camera while I do this, so, and I'm not a very good ballet dancer, so bear with me here. And okay, we got that one. So we added that to the to the 50 millimeter mark. Now we need to add our reagent. That's in this nice big fat bottle, and we put it in this little beaker here. And we're going to add that to the five mil mark. So let's see if we can get that into our picture here for you guys. Add that in there. That's a bit too much. That's because I'm working with one hand. So let me fix that for you. Let's see what I've got now. I'm nearly there. Okay. Just a dash. Working with just one hand is not so easy. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so we take this. So we take this little reagent here and we add it in to our wine sample. Shake a little. Let me close the bottle of reagent before I uh, before I spill it. By the way, watch this wine when I shake it a little bit. Look at that nice stick to the side of the of the glass. Lighting is not so good, so it's hard for you to see, but boy, it's beautiful. Okay, so now we take our reagent and we drop it in. That has a little chemical reaction thing going on. Okay. Excellent. All right, we'll put our sample in the machine. We drop in our little uh, stir bar. Give it a quick... Yeah. Get it into the middle of the... Um, of the tank. Let's purge <coughs> our pump. Make sure we're pumping good and clean here. We are, as you can see. Okay. Close this. Of course, I made a mistake. I should have had my uh, my probe already out here, and I don't. Now I'm working with one hand, so that's not going to be easy. So let me. Uh, I have to clean this probe. In a second. Be right back to you. Nearly there. Okay, and we're back from that silliness. Um, I had to clean that probe. So we insert our probe into the machine here. Um, <clears throat> and we put our dowser in. And we hit start. guys and here we are and we've got um, 18 parts per million in this sample so not quite what I was hoping to get but I was very conservative with what I put in because I 
didn't want to go over. So, um, you know, that means I'll be adding some more. But uh, that was it. That's all there was to it. I mean, there's really nothing. Uh, if it wasn't because I have to hold a, a, the camera with one hand, this test would have been done a long, long time ago. So, um, you know, it looks like I'm going to have to go put another 18 parts or so uh, in there. Um, it's easy to do. And um, then run my tests again in another 24 hours. So it's a nice machine, I, if you can afford it. Uh, boy, it sure is nice, because uh, you're not guessing it, what to do with the SO2 measurements. That's it for now. Cheers.